Hey everyone, Tech Commentary with a video for you guys. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone unable to verify iOS 18 update. You want to follow these steps to quickly fix it and successfully download and install iOS 18. So let's get started. The very first thing is you're going to want to do is go ahead and retry a few times by going to your settings, general software update and then see if it checks for update and try to update it. Sometimes it takes a few tries because every a lot of devices are trying to download iOS 18. The servers are backed up, so you wanna keep on trying until it can verify your update. Now, the next thing you wanna do if that doesn't work is go to automatic update, turn these off, and then go back, and then click on automatic updates, and then turn them all back on again, and go ahead and see if you can update now. Now, if that didn't work for you, the next thing you wanna go ahead and do is Close out, this, close out the settings and then pull down the control menu, put your phone on airplane mode briefly and turn it back off again and then go into your settings and then go to general software update and try one more time again. Now if that didn't work, the next thing you wanna do in the main settings here, go to general, go to BPN and device management. Now if you have BPN turned on, I recommend turning that off or if you have one, remove it and then simply after you do the update of course put it back on and that should do it for you now if that didn't work the next thing you want to do again going back from the main settings you're going to go general this time we're going to go to date and time and verify that the date and the time matches exactly to your local zone it might not match especially uh, if you travel or moved around so simply turn this where it's a set automatically off manually adjusted but ideally you want it to automatically be set in it will fix it for you. Now, if that didn't work for you, the next thing you wanna do is go into, again, the main settings here, go to general, this time iPhone storage, and you're gonna verify that you have enough storage available. You need at least 10 gigs or more to successfully verify the update and install it. So if you don't have enough space, delete some app or some of your photos and videos, which will clear up with some space. And also if you have an update that shows up here, it'll say iOS update, similar to this right here. We'll show you in the screenshot where it's gonna look like this. All you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and delete that update. So you're gonna click on delete, so something like this. So you want, we're gonna delete that update and then you're gonna go back and retry from the settings again to see if that helps and that should help. Now if that didn't work, the next thing you wanna do is follow this step, which is you're gonna locate the volume up and volume down button and then this big side button. You're gonna do this process where you simply press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then hold on to this side button and keep on holding until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears. So as you can see here, I'm holding on to the side button here, waiting for that Apple logo to reappear before I let go of that and then I'll let go and that should go ahead and boot up the phone. Basically all that is doing is shutting down the phone software, reloading the code so if it's a software related issue causing the phone not to be able to verify that update, it will go ahead and work. Now after you have done that, it's done a lot of working, the next thing to do is go into your settings, go to general and then ensure again you have enough storage if you clear out the storage but another thing you also wanna do in the general is go down where it says transfer reset iPhone, click on reset, we're gonna do a network reset. And a network reset basically reset things like saved Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connected devices. And it's important to do as it will fix any issues with the connectivity that be causing your update not to verify. It will not delete, again, any of your personal data. Go ahead and try that. Now, another thing to also do is if you're still not able to do it, wait a few hours because again, a lot of devices are looking to update it. You may not be able to update it right away. Come back and check again to do an update. Now, if you can't wait, another thing you can do is update through iTunes or Finder on a MacBook or your computer, which we explain in another video. I'm gonna leave the link for that in the comment in the description section. Go ahead and check that out. And that video, again, takes a little bit more time since Hence why we're making that into another video you can go ahead and follow. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and iOS 18. We'll see you guys next time.